back when I had no food but I had a kid I had a house, could you pay the bill? This is how I used to feel If I could only get a deal Sell some records, make a meal Something now, how you doing today? I'm good. Camila. 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 Oh, 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 Camila. And then some. Welcome to the J. Davis Show, girl. Thank you for having me. Man, that's, this is an honor for me. I'm going to be honest. Go ahead. Right. I heard, I've been hearing her songs, her name everywhere. Mm -hmm. Kanye. Mm -hmm. Jay Ella. You name it, they, and I heard the songs. I'm like, wow. And her yes. sitting in my face, I was like, she, she's one of the elders, real talk. She is. No bullshit. Definitely. I appreciate that. I no really do. Yes. I like the little cuts on your leg. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. For the people out there, Jay is actually looking at uh, Camila's CD cover. And right, he's, he's admiring the splits, the design on her legs. He is a thigh, titty, whatever I, guy. I gave a compliment. Stroking the CD case. My CD, she down. gave it to me. It's a mine. good thing that she's on the other side of CB. Yes, sir. CB has been, been between the two of you all. Them charges been dropped. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> That's the order of protection. Out of way, we go provide for you. So we hear too, Camila, that at the age of ten, um, you started singing in the church choir. Or was it sooner? Or I think it was sooner than that. Sooner than that. Um, Probably starting to look children's choir. Yeah, it was. It was definitely sooner than that. Mm -hmm. Um, but I was all. I was always kind of shy about it, and I think around 10 is when I started to open Become up. Become more confident. But I, and like, mm -hmm. you know, in my room by myself, I was always singing. I was Stand always, up. like, writing. Uh -huh. I wish I could find these little tapes. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to have a little tape recorder, and um, mm -hmm. I used to just, like, like I don't even know what I was singing about it, like, in second grade. Making up songs. Uh -huh. and wow. Like, what did you possibly be singing about at that age, you know? Mm -hmm. But... I, I did. I remember just sitting in the room, just singing, saying stuff like I listen to the radio, and then I turn the radio off and like try to, you know, reenact whatever I heard. So, mm, nice. So, would you say singing in the church helped bring the soul out in the music? The soul was always there mm -hmm. because, um, like in my household, we used to skate in the basement. My dad used to have like the big speakers, and um, he was like a real skater, like doing all the dropping down, James nice. Brown, you know, did turn around. Crazy legs. Oh, he did all that. <laughs> <laughs> he did all that. I know the crazy legs. <laughs> <laughs> the coldest thing ever. That is smooth. You want to wear the chick over? Tell Jason, hey, to learn how to skate. <laughs> That's it. Take her to the ring. That's all she want to see. That's it. That's the move. You can learn right somebody on some skates on four wheels. Yes, uh, Early. Uh, <laughs> I got a question for you, Camille. Yes. How did you link up with Kanye for that song that you did with him? Um, well, just briefly, I I met Kanye when I was in high school. Um, he had an artist. I know you heard of Miss Chris. No doubt. And I knew um, Miss Chris through a mutual friend that we had. Mm -hmm. And I did some work with her in high school. And of course, that's Kanye's artist. So I was around him at that time. So when I moved to New York and was working with Needles, um, he had a relationship with Kanye. And he reached out to him. We had already laid the song. He reached out to him like, man, my girl Camila, want you to hop on this song for me? And he did. He showed love. So I greatly appreciated that. Greatly appreciated it. That's one of the that's one of the illest songs ever. <laughs> Word life, man. You know what I'm saying? So man. I mean, are you working on a project? Yes, I am currently working on a project um entitled Once Upon a Summer. We actually just released a single. Oh, we um, got that. We're gonna play that in a minute. <laughs> we got that. And then I'm also gonna um I have a lot of stuff in the vault basically. Okay. And okay. what I decided to do is I was gonna release seven songs, about seven songs within the next two to three weeks. Um, and it's going to be called Feel Good Is New. And it's basically all of my, you know, seven of my old songs. So I, I have um, production by No ID. Um, mm -hmm. I think Needles might be on a couple. And then when I was, I was lived in Atlanta for a little while, I worked with a very talented um, musician by the name of Jimmy Cravity. Oh, 
plays the guitar, piano. He's just out of the, he's like a prince. Um, so definitely have some good stuff that I'm going to release within the next. Right, look, I'm looking forward to it. Like, soulful, man. <laughs> You're up there with Eric Robinson. I ain't gonna front. No <laughs> bullshit. Is uh, Kanye and No ID like real demanding in the studio? Well, I don't know. Well, I can't. Rem I can't really recall how Kanye was, but I can imagine just from me remembering his personality. Mm -hmm. He has a very strong personality. Very contagious. Very. His energy is very contagious, and I remember that um, specifically because. I just remember how how much like he he my son reminds me of that he has that same energy like a kid you know and you just like wow but I was a kid so I'm just like damn <laughs> he has more energy you know than me. and um I remember he was doing a pub daddy dance in my head I'm like this nigga gonna be somebody I was like a sophomore in high school I'm like he gonna be somebody like I just felt it you know he was doing a pub daddy he was doing a pub, he reminded me of pub daddy at the time I'm like he like pub daddy or something which pub daddy dance was he doing he was going to with the Versace oh, shirt, right. <laughs> the '95 <laughs> one. But he was ugly, man. But yeah, but but no idea is more like the total opposite. Mm -hmm. The total opposite. Like he's the type of person that he's the type of person that will say um like two words to you, and it's like you got it's like a puzzle. Like you got to try to figure out. I should have said this earlier, like, I can't be around kids, like, <laughs> a, I was drunk one night, 500 feet, that's cool, don't worry about it, nobody was. Wait, <laughs> you want to say it, said the, uh, the stuff about the baby, dropping the baby, no, spiking the baby, spiking the baby, he said, I told him he couldn't say that, but, all right, keep my son away from me, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, so, I mean, how would you describe your, your, your music music? Um, I would say if I had to put myself in lane, I would say Lauren Hill, Alicia Keys, like um, Erica, like real. And when I say real, not meaning that other music is not real, but speaking and touching on real life topics. You know, like I can do, I can do other stuff, but that's really like my, that's really my comfort zone right there. Yeah, her sound is like hip hop soul, but on a smooth one. Yeah, it's, I mean, she has a beautiful voice, no doubt. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you have mad talent. Thank yeah. you. You know, and I mean, what else inspired you to do music? And were there any people that you looked up to? Are, are the, some of the people that you just named are some of the people that you looked up to? Definitely, or? definitely. Um, but growing up, like I was just inspired by, like I said, being in a household where. You know, Dad had the big speakers. Yeah, the big speakers. He was always, I just always heard music in the basement. Mm -hmm. So, Shaka Khan, like mm -hmm. whoever, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think that unconsciously I was taking it all in, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. Not like I was trying to listen or anything, but it just mm -hmm. became a part of who I am. Mm -hmm. And then I think that Chicago is a very, very soulful. If you think about all of the artists that um, emerged out of Chicago, they're very soulful, yeah. you know. And I think that because um, this is this is kind of like the city. This used to be the soul city. There used to be a lot of labels here, a lot of you know people that um, many Ripperton, you know. Mm -hmm. Like just think about all of the great, great artists, right. soul artists that came from Chicago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Curtis and um, Mayfield. Curtis Mayfield. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Jerry Butler. Curtis is serious. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Y'all think Crucial Conflict is uh, We're speaking about soul. That's a totally they different genre. What are you talking about? I feel you. They uh, soul. I, I would agree. See, see, guys, see, I would have to agree, uh, though. Exactly. Thank you. Uh, I would have to She's a real artist. She but was <laughs> that your first answer I mean, that came in? That didn't even fit in the categories <laughs> of different <laughs> artists we were talking about. Like, we're talking about. Conversation Did you have like three artists in your mind and was Crucial Conflict the first one? <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. I mean, they, yeah, they are from Chicago, but they come soulful. on. Yeah. It's so it's do or die ain't soulful. Talking about Pope Pepper. 
right, Whole Pimpin' is real soulful. <laughs> Psycho drama? B I N G O. Psycho drama? But y'all have to admit, we have to admit that Chicago artists. But we are soulful. Like, we're if, we, if we're not going to call them soulful, just say that we're very different. We're different. We're different. <laughs> but you're not going to find stand. another do or die or crucial conflict anywhere yeah. in the world. I mean, we can tell by the suit. The suits we wear. You know, when we step, when we step, we have everything matching. The gators, the, the green pants, gators, the, the green the pants, purple, the green the shirt, shirt, you know what I'm saying? Pimple and then the music don't make it no better. You, you got the soul. I wonder what Johnny P is doing right now. Got off the royalty checks. Really? You don't think so? Okay, okay, anyway, so, uh, 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 so <laughs> Camila, are there any artists in particular that you would like to work with that you have yet to work with as of yet? Um, of course, and it's, it's a gazillion, and I just can't think of them right now. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, any more Chicago artists you would like to work with that you've considered? Or? I'm just really in a zone in a right zone. now. Wow. I'll be honest I'm with you. I'm feeling your zone, actually. I'll be honest with you, and not not that I not that not to be, you know, like I'm just in a zone, like mentally, like like I don't watch a lot of TV. I don't yeah. know really what's going on. Like I got stuff on the radio that I'll be like, oh yeah, this jamming like the uh, Jeezy. Mm -hmm. I do, I do. That's my shit right like there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like certain songs, I'm like, yeah, but I don't necessarily. Just pay attention to everything because I feel like when you do that, then it kind of messes, it taints right. your right. own right. creativity, you know. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I'm not really thinking about. I know, you know. Sometimes I think like, damn, like I would love to work with Kanye again. Mm -hmm. Um, just because I just think that he's a musical genius and he can bring out something. But and the thing is, is that I want to work with people that will allow me to still be me. Exactly. So that's why I kind of don't think about like, I don't think about it too much like, you know, dang, I want to work with this person or that person. I just really want to find the set team of people that will allow me to, to be, be me. Because like, I go in, I write, I do the harmony, I do all, you know what I'm saying? Not saying that I don't want nobody telling me nothing, but let me do me. Let me, you know what I'm saying, really just blossom in the studio and, you know, you add stuff here and there or whatever, but... How can it? How can something be me if everybody else is telling me what to do? Right. Real quick, we got a caller. Caller, you there on the Jay Davis show? Caller. Hey, what's up, Leroy? What's your name again? Uh oh. What's up, Leroy? Man, it's been a long time, man. Oh, Leroy! What is that? Her music makes his Johnson happy. Oh, God. Um, How does that make you feel when someone says something like that to you? Do <laughs> <laughs> you like, want to call the cops or something? Um, well, I, I'm, I'm happy that you can use it. Is he rubbing off one right now? <laughs> you can um you can definitely go to Camila Sumner. I'm, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> what? Let him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Camila's trying to share her information with you. Okay. If, if you if you wanna if you wanna get more of my music, I definitely keep everything updated on my website, um, camilasumner.com, and also, um, I have a YouTube channel that you can go to and I upload things um, on a regular, so you can definitely stay in tune with me, though, by, by checking out the website. Oh, <laughs> Hey, Leroy, oh, hey, thanks for calling in, man. If you get a chance, go wipe some of the piss off the buildings in Detroit. Peace! <laughs> <laughs> wow. We oh, know man. that Jay.
Jay is a Detroit hater. <laughs> oh man, for Sorry. sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going hard. I'm in the very interested. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Leroy, he's a he's a huge supporter of the Jay Davis show. He calls in every week. If he doesn't call in, I actually become a little confused wow. about it. But I mean, get, <laughs> so give us uh, more insight about your mixtape, Heart of a Lion. Heart of a Lion. Um, <laughs> Heart of a Lion, basically, uh, how can I put this? I was living in Atlanta and um, went through a lot, a lot of things. Um, I lost my house to foreclosure. Um, things that I, at the time, couldn't talk about. I was too depressed to really express to people. My family really didn't know what was going on. I had a baby daddy that was, you know, running around doing him. It's just a lot of stuff that I had, personally. Um, at the time that really got me down um, but in the long run it, it gave me a heart of a lion that's where that came from wow. like I honestly have had never been so low in my life and um, this is the result of, of me going through those things which wow. I appreciated mm -hmm. that's what I was talking about with the Freddie Jackson stuff man what you mean? like when we were talking about before the show started, I was like, man, how could Freddie be so homo and make the songs that he make? Wait, you are my lady. Fred, you saying Freddie's a homo? Oh. And you didn't know that you when you went that? to his concert? No. <laughs> oh, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not that the If you didn't know him, you will find out on that unsung joint. But I, the problem I had with it was he made songs that were so powerful and he didn't even I heard Luther was like that. I think it's the. I think that it's. Um, he probably was thinking about a man, but singing lady. Oh, I mean, you know what? I think the most know. the most powerful songs or the most moving songs um, come from people that have like when you think about Kanye and how like he touches people. Mm -hmm. And I hate to keep relating back to him, like he's the only person, but um, he's just a, a great example of. When you go through such a hard time, you know what I'm saying, and then you take it to your creative space and release, mm -hmm. you come up with some good ass shit. No yeah. doubt, good ass shit. Like seriously, like if you, I, you know what I'm saying, I was fucking damn near homeless. I had twenty dollars to my name. I had a son, you know. Yeah. But I couldn't. But God has given you a gift. <laughs> hey, I mean, I'm not gonna start preaching, but don't preach. He is awesome. Hey! Yes. If it wasn't for God, you wouldn't have worn them pants today, so uh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> them pants that you got hey, on right now. Pants is. Oh my goodness. Camila, I'm finna. Hold on. Ben one did it. Uh oh, here we go. And he killed. Uh oh. Now, I'm, we, I put the rappers on the spot. Mm -hmm. But Ben one came here, he already set the tone for RB Freestyle. Freestyle. Oh yes, <laughs> and he killed. So did he freestyle? Was he singing? No, he killed that. And speaking of that, um, never mind. Keep going, Jeff. He killed. He killed. <laughs> he didn't say no. Camila, you gotta do. It. Okay, hold on one second, though. Are you? Yeah. Can I ask that you take my son to the bathroom? Okay. <laughs> you got a boo boo? I got you. About to get... okay. Oh, Thank you he's so much. So I'm trying to get my daughter probably okay. trained, so I know what it is. He is so you wanna, cute. Like, I'm going to give you a choice since, you know what I'm saying, you want to go mellow or you want to stay, you want to go hip hop song? Um, give me hip hop song. Oh. She Why not? This is the heart of the lion. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Let me, let me uh, find the one. No, no, no. And let me see. Oh, I'm in the wrong file. You want me to do your ad libs? Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> CB, no. All right. Stay in your lane, boo. Okay, we're going to go hip hop song. You ready? Yeah. Let me see what you got. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
OMG. I wasn't enough. Wow. Nice. <laughs> OMG. I don't know what else to say. I'm Man, sorry. That takes, that hey. That was enough. That was enough. That's somebody that was enough. Like, yeah. <laughs> I had a little more enough. time than that maybe I, I, I That was enough. That was enough. Hey, anymore, I would have to change my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> That was crying. enough. I'm good. Oh my <laughs> goodness. Definitely by the wrong <laughs> But so. Like, that was enough. This is wrong. This is wrong. I just. <laughs> that was hey, enough, Joe. You Your made Jay moved. happy in his pants. Yes. Yeah. Sure. You so, team person. <laughs> that was enough to make you think, though. Right. So how can our Man. people find you wow. on Twitter, Facebook? I'm about to keep hearing us saying. <laughs> Man. Um, hey, you can go one more. Buy your music, Paris. Isn't you can find lyrics. you can find me um, on Twitter, Camila Sumner. Mm -hmm. um, YouTube, Camila Sumner. Everything is Camila Sumner. Facebook, Camila Sumner. Keep it easy for you. Um, uh, actually, Facebook. Who is Camila Sumner? <laughs> um, and that's pretty much it. Just I'm, I'm, you have any upcoming shows you want to promote? I am actually working. It's not in in stone yet, but I don't know. Have you guys been to this place called J B Stro? On Western. Yeah, yeah, on 95th. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I um, I'm actually in the works um of trying to get something together for February. Oh, there, so keep so us posted. Keep, yeah. keep us posted. posted. Yes. Yes. The host still been anything though. <laughs> 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 you would be the guy. So. <laughs> Thanks. So, as long as no kids, that I'll be there. So, <laughs> right. But, uh, spiking babies. but thank you so much for coming out to the Jay Davis show. We really yes. appreciate it. No doubt. We definitely support your movement, your no talent. Doubt. No doubt. No thank you so much for having me. Hey, no time. Hey, 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 Jeff, you finna um do fifteen minutes of uh? We're gonna go powerful. Of, of something. We're, We're gonna, gonna play some Camila. We, we need start. That's some... the first song I'm yes. gonna play in my mix, man. So everybody. Stay tuned. Up next, we got King Louie, but Jeff the Illis is about to put some shit on the face. <laughs> <laughs> If I could only get a deal Sell some records, make a meal Get a house up on the hill Kick off my shoes, relax and chill They say that is so unreal